Now to our Trailblazing Women series, introducing you to incredible female leaders breaking barriers for themselves and for future leading women. Mm -hmm. And today's Trailblazer is Lady Pink, an award-winning artist named the First Lady of Graffiti, getting her start in Queens, New York, back in the 80s and helping to start a cultural movement with a spray paint can. Here's ABC's Alexis Christophorus. I'm Lady Pink. I'm a street artist from New York. Lady Pink's artwork hangs in some of the world's finest museums, including the MoMA and the Tate. But her first canvas was New York City's subway cars. Well, graffiti is more than just a style, it's a culture. It's, it's, it's an entire culture, it's an underground culture, there's thousands and thousands of kids. Called the first lady of graffiti, she's considered a pioneer in the boys club graffiti world of the 1970s and 80s. My new group of friends decided I should have a lady name if they were the only group in New York City with a female. So they gave me the name of Pink. I started as a teenager when I was 15 years old by sneaking out of my mother's house and going to the worst neighborhoods of New York City to go and vandalize the New York subway trains. It was risky business, right? I mean, that must have been dangerous. Absolutely. There's electric rails, there's police, there's, you know, all kinds of mayhem underground in the tunnels. Born Sandra Fabara, she was seven when her family immigrated from Ecuador in 1972 to start a new life in Queens, New York, where her love of street art was born. So these are the streets you grew up in. This is my neighborhood. This is when I first tried doing legal work. I came out to the above ground walls and I asked for a grant from the Queens Cultural Department. And this was one of the first walls I painted. It says Astoria. It looks like inside each letter is a story. Her art, a reflection of her Latina roots, depicting issues of social justice. This is what artists do. We scream out our grief, our anger, anger, our injustices, and celebrate what needs to be celebrated and not forgotten. We birth a worldwide movement called street art. Now it's in every corner of the world. That movement helped bring graffiti into the mainstream, and soon Lady Pink's work moved from subway cars to art galleries. I was going to parties with Andy Warhol and Keith Haring and Basquiat. This was my experiences as, as a 17-year-old. As a teenager, her talent and no-nonsense attitude landed her a role in the 1980s independent hip-hop film Wild Style, which quickly became a cult classic. We've got quite a few jobs lined up, so gate signs. We're trying to do a lot for the community now. We're trying to like liven up a few things, make it a job. We're gonna try to make it a living, I guess. The film made her a graffiti artist superstar. The day we were together, some fans stopped by to show their gratitude. We were driving by. <laughs> we came into New York last night, and I said, hey, kids. That's the lady in the movie that I showed you. It's everybody's Bible. I can quote parts of the movie. You're part of a story, and what you give back to the community is wonderful. Thanks for that. Got to take care of your neighborhood. This mural. Inspired, I asked for a lesson in street art. And if you think it's easy, you haven't done it. Show me again. Stop, stop. Okay. Spraying a little. Let's see. Nice. Oh, too much. Have this to is harder very, than it looks. It's very gentle. Closer. Very nice. Yep, yep, yep. It can all be fixed. No problem. Okay. So since you've got that pink, yeah. maybe you can repair a little bit of this down here. What was the inspiration for this girl? <laughs> Who looks um, like she's from outer I space. I call her a dreamer. She is based on ancient Ecuadorian pottery. Her commissioned murals are seen around the world, including Ukraine, Sweden, and Ecuador. She also paints murals with students from New York's Frank Sinatra School of the Arts. We asked the students to think up of what an American heritage means to them, and they did such a bang-up job with the designs and the ideas. What message do you want to give young women especially with your art. Don't let scale scare you. You know, get on up there, girl, and do your thing gigantic and big and loud and colorful, and don't hold back. Making art to make a difference. Alexis Christophorus for GMA3. Mm, <laughs> that is so Gotta cool. love it. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you, Alexis, for that report. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.